in this video, I will be showing you guys my freshman plates and I will also share things like the media I used, how long it took me to finish that plate, how I made it, what I felt during that time, and did I cram it? Well, most probably I did. But before anything else, just a little background about me. I am Erica Manalo, 21, and I'm studying interior design in UP Diliman. And if you're going to ask me what it's like to study IV in UP, well, at first I got scared and really pressured that I might not be able to catch up to them because they were all great. But I realized that it was just a phase. And if you are an incoming college student and you are eyeing for ID as your program, I would personally recommend it because it's beginner friendly. You don't have to be so great so soon like as you enter college because it is very progressive. You will learn as you go along and that's what happened to me. I may have had prior knowledge in art because I started painting a long time ago but as I am in my second semester of my first year, I actually improved a lot as a student and as an artist. So you might want to check my works in my art pages, I will put them here. So yeah, support local artists and let's get straight to the video! So the first plate that I'm going to show you is my interior design mind map. This was actually the first plate that I made in this course and I used watercolor here. This is my first major plate. It's a um, period style vignette drawing in pencil. These are perspective drawings, one point and two point perspective. So the next medium that we used were pen and ink. These are two sheets. And I actually sprained my wrist <laughs> rendering these because it required a lot of work and strokes. Now we go to markers. So I actually am very new to alcohol markers and I at first I did not know how to use them. So I actually messed this one up. So I did practice and I think I did better in this plate. I'm really excited to show you these next ones because these are full renders. So this first one is a plate that is completely rendered in watercolor. Next one is watercolor with color pencils. So I use color pencils to add textures like the greens of wood. I think I might have messed this one up because as I said, it was my first time using alcohol markers. That wood flooring was a mess. And this is the final plate for my rendering class. I crammed this because it was almost Christmas. See the date? It's December 23rd. And everyone in the family were having fun while I was up there rendering. So we also had our plates in history class. And these are types of tracery. So I actually have a fun story behind this plate. Because during the time I was making this, I was watching movies of Andrew Garfield, specifically Tick Tick Boom and Hacksaw Ridge. And in both of those movies, they featured traceries because it was set in the past, like 1990s or way before that. Here are screenshots of traceries in those movies. So you would know I'm not lying. So ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you this plate. Um, it's a folding exterior or Savonarola from the Renaissance period and I really love how this one turned out because of the colors that I used and how I rendered it. So I actually filmed the process of making this plate and I will include that after this. Please bear with me if it's in portrait orientation because I posted that on TikTok and Reels. This is actually my first vlog because it is a requirement for my speech class and who knows I might make another video after this but for the meantime those are my freshman plates
So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end. And you know the drill. Like and share this video. And I hope to see you on the next one. If there is one. <laughs> Bye. Take care.